Hey guys, so the Minecraft Pocket Edition developer Johan Berhardson announced that he's no longer going to be working on MCPE, but instead he's going to be working on the OS X Minecraft launcher. So OS X is just the Apple Mac computers or Macintosh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's what he's going to be working on, the launcher for the Mac. And it's not going to be the actual Minecraft PC game itself, it's just the launcher for Mac. And it's kind of weird that he's working on that. Because Minecraft Pocket Edition is their best-selling game. If you add up iOS, Android, and Windows Phone sales all together, Minecraft Pocket Edition is by far and away their best-selling game they have. You know, it's the best-selling version of Minecraft. Um, so the fact that they're taking one of their PE, MCPE developers away to work on the OS X launcher is kind of weird because... They need more people working on MCPE to get better features into the game. And I actually made a video on that, how the developers are trying to get lots of new features into 0.12.0. Well, now that they're have, they have one less developer, although Johan didn't do a whole lot, and I'll get to that in a second. But uh, now that they have one less developer, they're going to have less features getting into the update. And they're moving them to like the most unimportant development project that Mojang even has. Like... The OS X launcher, you know, they have they have one already. It's not like it's going to be anything new. I don't know if he's going to improve it, redo it, what he's going to be helping doing over there. But the OS X launcher is really just like the Windows launcher, and it plays Minecraft. It'll you, you select your version. It's it's really just the same thing. So I don't know what he's going to be doing. But you know, if they wanted to put him on the Windows launcher and have him, you know, help improve that one, you know, that would make more sense because they have a lot of players on Windows. But when you look at it, there aren't really that many people who play on a Mac. Because here's the thing: Macs are expensive; they're overpriced, and a lot of younger kids that would probably be pay playing Minecraft aren't going to get a Mac, and then you know, or not, they're not going to get a Mac for playing Minecraft. Not that a Mac can't play Minecraft, but it's just not really directed towards gaming, and you know, Macs just aren't made for games and stuff like that. They're just for you know, white girls to get on Facebook. So, the thing is, it's just not a very important project, so it's weird, and if you actually looked at the sales, I don't know if they have sales figures for this, something like this, because when you buy Minecraft for the PC, you can run it on you know Windows and Mac and Linux, whatever. Uh, you can run it on any of them, so it's not like you have to buy it for each individual operating system, which is pretty cool. But still, if you were to look at how many people play on Mac versus Windows and Linux, I mean Linux probably wouldn't be anywhere either. But you know, it's not like they're focusing on Linux. But you know, Windows would be by far and away the uh, dominant operating system in that category. So the OS X launcher is just kind of irrelevant, and I don't understand why they'd be putting one of their you know more popular MCP developers over on there. Now, Johan really hasn't done anything new, especially in 0.11.0. All he did was skins. Now, granted, that was a great feature, and we're definitely happy to have skins, but that's all he really did, and he hasn't been all that busy. So I don't know if he's been working on this for a while now or what's been going on, but yeah, he just hasn't been active in the MCPE community whatsoever. And, you know, on Twitter, he's been really quiet for the past couple, actually since I think like March or April or something like that. He's just been really quiet and not saying much. And yeah, I don't think he's really been working on MCPE for a while now. I think ever since 0.11.0 released and after he finished the skins and stuff, that's probably the, the last thing he did before he started working on the OS X launcher and finally just announced it so everybody knows. So yeah, it's kind of a disappointment that they're getting rid of one of their developers for their most popular game and or you know to move them over into the like least important project there, but. That's okay, you know, I'm assuming the, they'll probably get a couple more developers to work on 0.12.0, just like they did with 0.11.0. They got Daniel Wustenhoff, Wustenhoff, I don't know, it's it's pronounced differently. Um, and Shogi Cervantes, I think that's how you say it. And I think they got one other developer, I forget. Uh, but, you know, I'm assuming they're going to do the same thing to replace Johan and maybe get some more features added into MCPE 0.12.0. At least that's what I hope they do because uh, Johan, when he was active in the MCPE community, was actually a really talented developer and he did a lot of great features. And like I said earlier, one of those was skins. And that was uh, an awesome feature in 0.11.0, but, you know, it did take him quite a while to do. And, uh, you know, it was the only thing he really did in 0.11.0. But... 
Uh, whatever. So leave your comments down below. I want to see what you guys think. Do you think that it's a, a smart move to move Johan over into the OS X uh, Minecraft launcher development? Or do you think he should have stayed in the MCPE development area and worked on getting new features into 0.12.0? Leave your comments down below, and I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.